Hello thinkers, in my last videos, I showed you how to build this spider robot and how to use an ultrasonic sensor. Now, let's give our robot the capability to navigate in space, making it walk, turn and avoid obstacles. This video is divided into three chapters, in the first I will explain the motor primitives allowing the robot move forward, in the second we will make modifications to make it turn. Finally, in the last chapter we'll use the ultrasonic sensor to detect obstacles and change direction. Let's first look at how we make the robot move forward. The servos follow a cyclic pattern using cosine functions to create a smooth walking motion. Each leg has two segments, and they shouldn't move exactly together, in phase, or exactly opposite, in counterphase. Instead, the second segment should move with a 90 degree delay relative to the first, this means that when the upper part starts lifting, the lower part is already halfway through its movement. Additionally, opposite legs move in antiphase. This means that when one leg is stepping forward, the leg on the opposite side is stepping backward. Now, to turn right, we need to modify how the legs move. Instead of making all legs follow the same forward walking pattern, we adjust the amplitude of certain servos so that the robot pivots rather than walking straight. The key to turning is changing the movement of the upper segment of the legs on one side of the robot. By flipping the sign of the amplitude for these segments, we also flip the phase of their oscillations. This means that while one side of the robot continues stepping forward, the other side moves in reverse, causing the robot to rotate in place. Now, let's make the robot smarter. We'll use the ultrasonic sensor to help the robot avoid obstacles. The sensor works by sending out a pulse of sound and measuring how long it takes for the echo to return. This tells us how far away an object is, for a more detailed guide on using ultrasonic sensors, check out my dedicated video, link in the description. If an obstacle is detected within 30 centimeters, the robot will stop moving forward and start turning to avoid the object. The sensor constantly checks the distance, so if something is too close, the robot reacts by changing direction. Once the obstacle is no longer detected, meaning the object has moved out of range or the robot has successfully navigated around it, the robot will resume moving forward. This allows the robot to continue its path without getting stuck or colliding with objects in its way. The continuous feedback from the sensor ensures the robot always knows what's ahead and can adjust its movement in real time. Now, our spider robot can move forward, turn right, and avoid obstacles. In the next video, I'll show you more complex and intelligent behaviors and make the spider learn by itself. Let me know in the comments if there's something you'd like to see. What about jumps? Or controlling it via your smartphone? If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more DIY robotics. See you in the next one.